morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode. I'm out here on Blue Rock Lake with my mate Aaron. We're chasing Australian bass this morning. It's just gone on 5.30, uh, first light, so we're getting, hopefully getting some surface action this morning. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. We'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm starting off the morning with a Jackal Micro Pompadour. Aaron's got the Mega Bass Siglet in olive. Let's see if we can uh, find a couple. Yeah, have to change right or yep. line. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That <laughs> gets your heart going. <laughs> Fouled me up. That's a little guy. <laughs> All right, there's the first one on the micro. Le Pompadour Micro. Slightly different sort of retrieve there. I sat it there and then started to work it after the ripples had sort of dissipated. Don't know if that had anything to do with it, but so that oh Aaron's on doubles. Our first double for the morning. <laughs> we found the uh, the nursery. That's slow mo or you just oh. Oh. oh that's a better one. No, no, it's not. <laughs> that's alright. First fish on the D style. Yeah. Alright, well he nailed that. Here's the D style. Hope we got all that on camera. Oh, oh, missed it. Yep, a little guy. Up the back of the pocket. Have a little trick trout. Smashed it. This Had two goes at it. You caught it too. You see, it's just a one. Mm. It's just a, it just feels like it's got a tinge more sort of shade in here. Yeah. Sorry for all the beeping, guys. It's the uh, not much reception up here at all, so. Keeps losing satellite on the front sounder.
Um, is she the dominant or the other one? She's the dominant one. She's the one that starts it. Yep, yep. Oh, on the jig, on the light jig. That was a little tick in the line. Oh. Better than the other ones, but not huge, but. Oh. Oh. There we go. Nice dark fish. Yeah. There we go, guys. Eight pound leader, a little gulp crabby trailer. Take a few photos and let it go. We're back just as the camera battery died. I got a little one. Aaron got a little hit. Is he on? No. So we're both fishing a 3 16th of an ounce jig with a gulp camo craw trailer, a crabby, crabby trailer in two and a half inch size. one up there. Didn't feel like a big bite. Mouth on thing you were Possibly. A little tick, but kind of, on that one I wasn't 100% sure if it came off a log. But definitely a little tick up the back there. Another visible way down. Just casting towards the back of it. And that jig dropped to the bottom. A couple of holes. That wind's starting to pick up. Mm. So it's going to be blowing onto those points. So we might still have a chance at a quick fish or two, maybe on hards or something like that. But yeah. it through the um, slack because of the wind. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Came back a second time. <laughs> Bit too excited. I thought, oh, here we go. Got it. No. Well, that's good to know, though. Right. Still getting fish here. The other thing to watch out for is where the skirt's gone, because you can spin that around. So if you get like too much skirt on one side, okay. you can spin it. Skirt's on a big rubber. Yeah, it might just touch more streamlined. Yeah. Uh, nor I. No. I think best crab in the world exists. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there you go. What a one. We'll wait for the it's on that right hand side of that tree. Downs up there too. Yep, yep, oh. yep. Get the net just in case it is a good one or not. I think he's just just had me in the bit of timber early. There we go. Oh, nice one. Just a good tick off that stump ahead of us, guys. And uh, that's why I went so hard on him because there's just so much timber for them to get us on. But another low to mid 30s fish on the jig, crabby trailer. That's like it. High 30s. All right, get a few photos and let him go. Alright, we 
way back, back after that fish. Still fishing this point, just working our way up. Throwing into the shady parts and lay downs and all sorts of stuff. So much timber under us that you just blindly cast ahead and still find, come across fish. We'll both just put fresh crabbies on. Let's give ourselves the best chance with action and scent. Fuck, oh. that's a good one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Just wakes you up, doesn't it? Mm. Out of nowhere. Whacked it? Yeah. Yeah. Might just be a soft tip too. That could be part of the trouble with the hook sets. Okay. Maybe um, a bit of a beefier rod. Just maybe a touch beefier tip. Yeah, just a thought of twigs. Let me roost that one. <laughs> nice. All right, quick change. Jackal, TN60, nice and loud. Oh, into the tree. Perfect. Yep, yep, first cast. Nice. Net, please. Bad. Nice work, fella. Thank you. Just had a feeling. And I have caught them on, on this lure in this on this stretch before, so. Hey guys, well that's it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a quick recap, Aaron and I started the day off fishing a lot of surface. So the majority of my fish came on the little cicada. This is the little TMCO trick trout in black and UV underneath or white. Uh, Aaron got a few nice fish on the um, Mega Bass Siglet in fur finish olive green and then the majority of our better fish came on a skirted jig with a gulp crabby two and a half inch trailer in the camo colour. So the skirts that we're using today were a natural browns and greens as well as the jig head colour itself. And then that final fish that I caught on the TN60 was again one of our better fish. Just couldn't find those bigger ones today but we had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.